You're watching Robins TV live from Ashton Gate for our coverage of Bristol City's trip to South Yorkshire. All the action from Bramall Lane from 7.45 tonight. However, next tonight, meet Mo Dalla, a lifelong Bristol City fan who's been chatting to Robins TV about celebrating Ramadan. I'm Mohamed Dalla, a Bristol City fan, I'm a Muslim and I follow my faith as well as football. I've been following City um, 17 seasons now. Uh, first couple of years I was a member watching them regular and then I think uh, we've just renewed uh, we're into my uh, our 15th season now as a season ticket holder. My faith first of all is the biggest priority in my life. Nothing can ever supersede that. However, football it's not far behind at all. It's a big passion and you know and it's a common saying where a lot of people to them football is their religion. But like, you know as I said nothing will supersede my religion in terms of being you know a Muslim and following Islam but football it's it's you know, it's a big passion of mine. We're in the uh, blessed month of Ramadan at the moment so it's about me having my priorities so in order to make sure I can kind of accommodate both so the moment it's announced the start date and when it's about to finish immediately I'll look at the fixture list yeah and that is my priority to see how I can kind of ensure that my I don't neglect anything to do with my faith at the same time don't miss out on attending Bristol City games as well so I'll look at the fixtures and I'll plan ahead and by planning, it allows me to, as I say, enjoy both. And yeah, so far so good, really. We all follow the faith, but we're all humans and we all have our kind of ups and downs in life. You know, we have our adverse moments and stuff, really. So it's a Ramadan's opportunity to turn that adversity into opportunity, really, you know. You could probably count on one hand how many people of, of different backgrounds you'll actually see who attend games and that. So in, I've been coming, as I say, 16, 17 years from day dot um, initially, I was the only Asian person I'd ever see, you know, and that's never mind religion, that's just in terms of like, you know, uh, ethnicity as well. So it was a bit of a concern to me to begin with, and, you know, there was kind of mixed experience I had. And I don't think it's deliberate. More recently, so Jerry, you know, who's the um, supporter liaison officer, oh, he's a godsend. So, you know, through him, we had a few conversations. I explained what my kind of. Um, you know what? How do I want to go about this? How can we kind of change the mindset of the uh, the club itself as well as the fans? Like you know, we've uh, invited the community, the mosque uh, visitors and stuff to come to um, several games. And yeah, if you speak to them now, they've all enjoyed the experience. The club have made them feel really welcome. So we're heading in the right direction. Fam, he first um, arrived, and I kind of took that upon myself. I knew he was from Senegal, and Senegal predominantly it's a Muslim country. And the first thing I said is, oh, you're a fellow Muslim, so you know what? Uh, if you need anything in terms of where to pray and stuff, just, you know, get in touch. And yeah, so we kind of swapped numbers and never looked back since. Like, and uh, so it weren't just a relationship in terms of religion kind of thing, but we became friends. When we were growing up in our generation, our parents had no interest in trying to take their kids to football and stuff like, you know, yeah. So we're trying to change that mindset now, like, you know, where kids do have that passion. And because of that passion, we want to, you know, let them enjoy it as well, like, you know, yeah. So, uh, yeah, as we said, gradually we are heading in, step, uh, in the right direction now, like, yeah. Great to meet Mo and a very happy Ramadan to you if you celebrate, uh, of course, until Friday.